I would also like to thank my wife and my son for being here with me tonight and who have supported me tirelessly through this campaign. A remarkable campaign. Uh, I'm not, I don't claim to be a professional politician. Fighting this campaign has not been an easy task for me, but I had to do it for my son, Thomas Keyes, Royal Military Policeman, killed in Iraq, four days short of his 21st birthday. Sent to war under extremely controversial circumstances. Extremely controversial circumstances. If this war had been justified by international law, I would have grieved and not campaigned. If weapons of mass destruction had been found in Iraq, again, I would have grieved, not campaigned. Tonight there are lessons to be learned. And I hope in my heart that one day the Prime Minister may be able to say sorry. That one day he will say sorry to the families of the bereaved and one day the Prime Minister might be able to visit wounded soldiers in hospital. Then our campaign will not have been in vain. And all the people who have given me their vote tonight send a clear resounding message about the Iraq war. Thank you to all the people who have voted for me tonight. And just finally, I would like to dedicate this campaign to all the brave 88, 88 British servicemen, because some people do not know how many have been killed. Servicemen who gave their young lives in this conflict. But may I just in particular mention, as they have come to be known, the six. The six Royal Military Policemen left behind and slaughtered in a filthy police station in Almaja.